everyone. Uh, it's been a while since my last commercial review. Sorry. it's uh, It's been crazy lately. There's been a lot of things going on. Good things, of course. Um, but just trying to stay on top of it and uh, manage to keep this up. I'm all up on the YouTube, folks. You can look me up on the YouTizzle. Anyway, um, my channel is called Reviews by Kayla. I know. Brilliant! Uh, so you can just type in Reviews by Kayla, no spaces, and you should be able to find my videos. Um, this uh, first commercial, I'm going to give a shout out to Andrew and Hillary, two of my fans! I have fans! Isn't that a, I'm a loser, but I'm excited because I have fans. Thanks, guys! Um, so let's dive in. The first commercial we're going to review is Staples! Oh, I got robbed. Wow. He's handling it pretty well. Let's take a look at that again. Oh, I got robbed. Pretty sure I wouldn't handle it like that. Um, I just wouldn't. Wow. We just got robbed. Mine would be... Oh my god. No! I know. I know. You were very moved by that performance. I mean, you don't win one of these for nothing! They took the flat screen. The sound system. I love that out of everything that has been taken. The first thing you really notice, then again, in all fairness, it is a dude saying it, and men, we know how much you love your TVs, that they notice that the flat screen is missing. Because, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of stuff missing. You know? They didn't take the computer. Maybe it's time for a new one. So, your house has been broken into. Thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of things have been taken from your house. You happen to notice they didn't take your computer, and the first thing, the first thing that comes to your brilliant mind is, maybe it's time we get a new computer. Because you, you, don't, have, you don't have all those thousands of dollars worth of crap to replace, like TVs and stereos and jewelry and, and anything else they might have taken that's a little more important than a computer. But you realize that they didn't take your old computer because you're not hip enough, obviously, to have a new computer. So the burglars didn't take it and you're feeling a little out of style and you think, first thing we'll get, brand new computer. That'll make us feel better about ourselves. I don't think I want to be friends with these people. Here's your new PC. I hope that, um, I hope this is a year down the road, or at, at least six months, after you've bought and back other things that are important. I hope you didn't go out the next day and get a new computer. And we moved the files from your old computer over for free. Our wedding video? Mm -hmm. All the baby pictures? Yes. Our taxes? Yep. That was so easy. Why do you keep your only wedding video on a computer and your baby pictures? I know it's the age of technology, but I'm pretty sure somebody didn't record your wedding with a computer. Pretty sure there should be a hard copy of your wedding video, right? And, and your baby, baby pictures were probably taken on a camera. Did you not save them or make a baby album? Did you not make a baby album for your baby? Selfish. My mom loved me enough to make me a baby album. It says Kayla, middle name. Isn't that nice? It was made by my aunt, the cover. And then, uh, oh, <laughs> it's as old as me. And then, there's pictures of my family. This was the day I was born. <laughs> and yet, my mommy. And yet, me. Ready? Because my mom loved me. Now this is something they would steal. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure I wouldn't think that's funny if somebody stole hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of my crap. I'd be pissed. Yeah. Too soon. Right now, buy a new PC at Staples and we'll move your files over for free. It's that easy. I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so frustrated with that commercial because when you're broken into car, house, yep, you feel violated. 
I can attest to this. My car has been broken into four times since I've moved out here. I've only been here for just under four years. Same car. Yeah. Even with an alarm. Yeah. Uh, you feel violated. My first thought wasn't replacing the GPS. Um, or noticing that they didn't steal my stereo deck that they could just pop out because it was probably old-fashioned so I probably should get a new one so that next time they'll be tempted to steal it. No, my uh, first concern was replacing the broken window. So, anyway. Next. This video, I'm giving a shout out to my dad. Uh, because my dad, commercial reviews, the entire thing I can say probably stemmed out of inspiration from watching commercials with my dad. Um, my my mom gets annoyed sometimes with my dad and myself. More so my dad because he's there all the time doing this. I'm not. Um, but when we sit and watch commercials, when they're bad, we comment during them. Or we make fun of them. Um, and I was recently home for a trip and my dad and I were watching TV, which is, you know, a rare occurrence, us uh, sitting and watching TV together anymore because he's always out and doing something and I'm always out and doing something. But it was late one night. Long story short, we were watching TV. And this next commercial came on. Nothing had to be said. There was absolute silence during the commercial. And once it was over, both of us just kind of pulled the... And burst out laughing because it's so bad. So, let's go. Let's just go. I'm Epic Win. It's a Russian Charlie Sheen. I am Epic Winning by Winning. Divide. Did he say divine or divide? And who says that when they lift weights? Who oh, divine! I am awesome! Divine! Yeah! I push to limit every time. I love that he says he's divine while Sven is in the background doing all the work when Mr. I am epic win has only these little sensory strapped to his arms not doing squat. You don't push the limit, honey. You just reap the benefits. But direct TV of no limit. Like having 6,000 shows and movies at no extra charge. I understand him having the pretty ladies in the background, but why does he have a mini giraffe on the treadmill? watching a picture frame TV that has running giraffes. Is that giraffe trying to achieve being like the big giraffes living in the wild? Is he, can he not run as fast as them? So that's why he's working on a treadmill to build up endurance and, and, and muscle and grow? I don't know, but I would, I would just, I would just think that he, you know, if he's so badass, this dude in the red silky tracksuit. Um, I think that he'd have, you know, like, jaguars, or, or lions, or, you know, uh, you know, like, even a shark. Yeah, a shark. But no, he's got a little mini giraffe! It's like seeing those big muscly dudes, who are so badass, walk down the streets with an effing chihuahua. They don't look so badass. They just look like pansies. I mean, like, if you see a normal dude in Chihuahua, you're like, whatever. But when you see these guys, they're like, I'm a muscle, and I'll fight you, and I'm gangster, because I have a side white hat, but I've got a Chihuahua! Sorry. Your, your badassisms, your badassinisms, your badassiness. I like that one. Your badassiness level goes down. Down. You come up with a pit bull, you look like a douchebag. Um, but, you know, if you have a normal dog and you're a muscly guy, it's like, okay, he's a muscly guy with a normal dog. But if you go with like a pit bull, you look like a muscly douchey bag. And if you have a chihuahua, you look like a, a, a pansy. So, I'm gonna get beat up, aren't I? Much inspirational. <laughs> no pain. No pain. Obviously, he's making a pun on the no pain, no gain uh, quote. But, if, if my arm was just sitting there, hello, sorry, kick the table. If my arm was just sitting there and the muscles just, I don't know where it went, pretty sure it hurt. It would be like you eating and eating and eating until you're going to throw up. Your stomach hurts. You hurt because it's such a quick expansion, right? So pretty sure that'd be painful. Yep. <laughs> the first 
I thought, well, there you go. He's giving a smoochy smooch to the giraffe, so obviously it is like the big muscular dudes in the chihuahua. But then I watched the clip back, and the giraffe actually gives a smoochy smooch back. <laughs> so it's not kind of like, ha ha ha, he's a weird muscle man. It's more like, oh, oh god, he's creepy, and his giraffe is people-like. Um, but it does confirm that he's more of a pansy, uh, not only because he's wearing a silk tracksuit um, and because he won't lift weights, but because he has a mini giraffe and he's drinking a fruity, strawberry-looking blended beverage. I think the girls are there for the guy lifting the weights. Not for epic win. I think this commercial uh, gets a D minus because it fails to do what it's supposed to do, which is advertise the product, which is DirecTV. But honestly, there's so much going on in the commercial that um, I completely forget what it's advertising. I, I'm just too struck by Ivan and his weights, by Epic Winning Man and his weird electronic muscles, by the mini giraffe who somehow found a towel and threw it over its own neck. I give this commercial for DirecTV, which is what it's for, if, if you couldn't remember what it was for either. Um, I give it three tiny zebras, just because I don't think little zebras should be alone, especially not with creepy epic winning men. And by zebras, I mean giraffes. And I give the robbery um, three laptops, because apparently that's the most important thing in that family. Uh, oh, <laughs> Take two. Hey everyone, it's been a while since my last commercial repost. Repost? No! Um. Father! Can you hear me? This is why I don't have a boyfriend. Cut! <laughs> I don't know what to say! Okay. I'm such a lady. Maybe we should do this. People all over the world, you are missing out if you don't live in Canada. I'm telling you that much because Tim Horton's coffee is so good. It's winning. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. It is epic win. Yes. It's definitely why I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I love that, uh... <laughs> I'm weird. So much crap for this video. Ooh, that almost fell down. Where's the light?